Hi, my name is J.S. Cornoyer and welcome to Entrepreneurs at a Crossroads, the series that gives you an inside look at those crucial moments when a small business comes to a fork in the road and its leaders need to make an important decision. Today, we're at Naylor Group in Oakville, Ontario. When Tom Hitchman bought this contracting company in 1984, his children, Lauren and Craig, were still toddlers. He built a solid business but had to figure out how to manage a succession plan when it came time for the next generation to take over. The Naylor Group is a mechanical, electrical, contracting business. They install and maintain everything from air conditioning units to communication systems to solar panels. Servicing over 1,500 buildings in the Toronto area alone, Naylor is one of the industry's leaders. But it wasn't always like that. When Tom Hitchman bought the company from founder Brian Naylor in 1984, it was on the brink of bankruptcy. The early 80s and the late 70s were really tough. There hadn't been any construction of any size, so it was right for him to sell. and. Probably silly for me to buy as my first experience, but I did. If you go back in history, you'll see that from 1984 to 1990 was really one of the biggest build-outs in commercial industrial construction in the greater Toronto area that we've ever had. So, so you had great timing, timing. timing was pretty good. In 1984, Tom's children, Lauren and Greg, were toddlers. We have a funny picture of my brother and I sitting out front of the office. Okay. I think he was three and I was four. Oh, yeah. And so it shows the nailer sign in the background, but we always like to say that was our first day of work. That was your first day of work. <laughs> That's great. Was that important to you to incorporate your kids in your, your business early on? You know, when they were really young, you're not really thinking about them taking over your business. No. You just want to have them grow up and be happy and healthy sure. and, and do whatever they want to do. Tom always planned to pass the ownership of the company over to his kids, but he wasn't sure that they would take over the day-to-day -day operations of the business. But that all changed when Lauren and Greg were in university. My dad and I had sort of a formal conversation where I said, yeah, I'm going to switch into a business program and I really do want to work for Naylor. Tom had guided the company through the boom in the mid-80s and the bust in the 90s. He was happy that his kids had expressed interest in eventually taking over the reins at Naylor, but needed to be sure that bringing them in wouldn't damage the business. I needed a facilitator. I needed somebody to manage me as much as the process. So while the kids were still in university, Tom launched his long-term plan. Naylor was at its crossroads. And then what I did was I hired a consultant who came in as a family facilitator, and she started dealing with Lauren and Greg and me to see what we should do for a transition. She'd meet with the children individually, and then with me, and then we'd meet as a group. And so we did that for probably seven or eight years while they were going through university and then when they were working in companies outside of Naylor. That was a very important process for us to go through mm -hmm. and um, something that I'm really, I mean, I don't think we would be at the point we're at today without having gone through that. We brought in a lot of young people. We hired a lot of young engineers and, uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago and brought them along. That next level of managers, which is essentially the team that Greg and I will work with, yeah. they have been developing for a number of years. Um, okay. And so they're right now in a position where they're fully functioning, sure. um, very involved in operations, and uh, Greg and I have had a good opportunity to work with them. So we have engineers and MBAs and BCOMs and mm -hmm. other MBAs in place now to help manage a much bigger business than, than what I had when I started. And it's to help manage a business that I love it. My children and the managers now think it's just a, it's a brand new business. With Lauren and Greg on board, the average age of the senior management team is now 38. And the pair has set aggressive growth targets for the next seven years, hoping to turn their $70 million in annual revenue to $120 million by the year 2020. With a solid succession plan and a new management team in place, Tom is preparing to step down from his day-to-day -day role next year. I'm J.S. Cronoyer with Entrepreneurs at a Crossroads. See you next time.